Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Justin's Direct Reviews and More. We have another brand new review for you guys. So hit that subscribe button below. Become part of our huge family as we are growing every single day, guys. Hey, nonetheless, we have a new review. It is a toasted bock made by uh, Linen Cools. Linen. Hey, I know I'm going to butcher that one. Um, it's in my way of reading it. It says. Linen Kugel. So, I mean, I know I'm butchering that totally. 5.1% uh, alcohol, six generations of family brewing. A refreshing take on a traditional Bach beer. So, we're going to open it up and see how it goes. See how it tastes. If you guys don't know, now you know, we hit 1K subs on yesterday's live. That is huge, guys. I tilted the screen when I <laughs> hit it with the thing. Um, huge. So we're going to be making a really big YouTube video soon for the 1K. And I think it's going to be great. Um, we're going to have to enjoy this camera crooked for the rest of this because I don't want to get up. Um, so let's go ahead and pour this in. And thank you guys who all came out and subbed and continuously subbed and donated. All the donations and the subscriptions are absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for that. Um... Y'all are amazing. Y'all are why I do this, so thank you. That is dark. That smells amazing. Oh, it smells like syrup. It smells like pancakes and syrup. Oh, that's so good. It's got a very nice maple smell to it. But that is way darker than what I thought it was going to be. That is, that is dark. Let's give it a go. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. It kind of has like a like a dark roasted coffee take on it. With a little like like a pistachio nuttiness to it. It's really different than anything I've ever had. It kind of has like a hoppy IPA taste to it. But it's kind of, it's more like a molasses, almost. A very sweet. And it sits really well. Um, very carbonated, though. I, I could feel that one, like, sitting on my chest and stomach. So, that's the only thing I got negative for it. Um, it it's got a little sticky film to it. I can kind of feel it on my lips. But I don't know where that's coming from. kind of hit or miss you know i'm not sure why it's so sticky um it's kind of got like a chocolatiness to it i don't know um but genuinely pretty good it's like eight dollars almost nine bucks we're gonna say nine bucks for a six pack so worth it in my opinion i like it it's good it's got a nice taste textures there very dark in color um Really rich though in flavor, so worth trying. Cheers. <sighs> that is gnarly though. I like it. And it doesn't have like a weird tangent aftertaste either. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> but guys, if you're still here and you ticked in and you stayed all the way through our crooked screen, you're a champ. Hit that subscribe button below. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. So till later, till next time, until always, hit that like button. Hit the comment section below. And let me know what I should try next. Maybe next time, it'll be your drink. But guys, till later, till next time, until always, I'm Justin. Welcome to our drink reviews and more. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow on Friday. It's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday with another brand new live video. Hey, we've been this week's been insane on lives. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it up. Hey, I love you. Have a wonderful, blessed night, and I'll see you soon. Catch you later.